Hi, welcome back to Feral Art, or welcome to Feral Art. Um, how you doing? Mm. Um, today I have a 16 by 20 uh, value pack canvas that I just sewed black, pinned and taped on the back, and this is the Nate's Art Lab collab edition. Uh, our <coughs> challenge for this month was to use fall colors. Um, I think, I hope. That's what I'm doing anyway. Um, I have Parage Posse Allen's Red Shimmer. I have Porage Posse Black Ice Metallic with a little bit of Amsterdam Lamp Black in it. I have Chroma Curl White. Go figure. I have Deco Art 24K. I have Porage Posse Tiger Lily Metallic. I have Porage Posse Chestnut Bronze Metallic. And I have Porage Posse uh, Persian Autumn Yellow. It's really pretty. So, those are the colors for my cup and probably some flow extender. I have this Deco Art 24K that is mixed up super thin for my runways. I'm gonna try to do a, a Mina Villegas inspired wanderlust pour as she's calling it. Um, I have not tried this before, but I'm gonna try it now. It's uh, basically two wandering straight pours heading in different directions, gathered in the middle, you'll see. Okay, here's my lovely symphony of colors over here. I'm going to, I'm gonna pour one runway, pour that pour, then pour the other runway and pour that pour, I think. Because for this size canvas for a 16 by 20, it takes, I think just less than 12 ounces. Let's go ahead and layer our cups. I complicate things. One of my many skills I'm making things up All in my mind Cause I analyze their body language I hear every change in their tone Maybe they hate me Somehow I play me My mama said it's just the weight of the world It's not personal, it's just how it works Don't be angry for too long, we'll get burned We shall take our first cup <laughs> And do the thing
Looks like love fire. Looks like I'm gonna have a way bigger gold streak than I wanted. So it goes. Flow extender. I mixed up some black. you use yellow and black in the same pour you run a real risk of green happening which I kind of hope that I wouldn't because I left room in between but as we see hey, what do you want? What do you want? over that corner and back to the middle. Outside my window is everything pale and cold. Can't seem to pick up my phone. It's been ringing all. to do things that I don't necessarily want it to do. So I am going to be sort of levering it where I want it to go. Inside my room mm -hmm. The heat's like a come back oh you didn't go off the corner you dirty dog back to the middle you see we're not moving real fast now we're moving kind of slowish and that's okay I'm okay with that I do wish my gold in the middle was smaller I 
did not overlap my pores enough. However, kind of digging these colors. Don't want to get it to that, eh, why is your painting so overstretched stage? I surely do like that dark this and this. I think are very pretty. way a little. Where are we at? Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. There are so many parts that I'm digging. about to be done here though I uh This little bit of green that's showing up it kind of tickles me because I know that when um our oak trees would turn colors in the fall there would always be that tinge of green on the ones that were mostly yellow so i am pretty okay with this green that showed up because of that and because it's just it's not an ugly green it's not not hideous so anyway i'm going to clean this up and I will bring you back for a flyover. Okay, so wet results. What do I think? Well, I think that the gold in the middle is too big. But other than that, I'm pretty pleased. Um, I love these dark areas. Really, really like those a lot. Um, these gold cells that are taking over. Eh. Not so much, but look at these. Aren't they pretty? Pretty did a fingerlings. Um, I don't know whether whether it's a wanderlust or not, but it tried. Look at that. I love this dark. I think that is just gorgeous. I would like to do the whole painting, just those colors. But I felt like I had to put in some white because no, oh, no, what if it gets too dark? Well, that would have been a real pity, huh? Not. Anyway, this is my first attempt at a Wanderlust pour. I think it's okay, mostly. Just looks like a river runs through it. <laughs> so, uh, I'll see y'all when we get dry, okay? Okay. Just so we're real clear, there are a whole lot of shimmers in here. Um... Most of the Parage Posse paints that I used were shimmery. And of course we all know 24K is shimmery. But, isn't it pretty? Isn't it pretty? I won't make you look at the whole thing. Well, maybe I will. Nah. Anyway. 
I still really like that dark boy. I'll tell you what. See, even in our black, though. Wowee. I like these Parage Posse paints. I think they're pretty nice. They work really well mixed up with my gel gloss medium. And uh, there we have it. I think it's kind of pretty. Here are the dry results of my Mina Villegas inspired Wanderlust pour that I did for Nate's Art Lab um, October collaboration. We were supposed to use a fall color palette. So I did. And I like the way it turned out pretty well. Um, I love the green that came up and I really was trying not to get green. Um, but the green that came up is sort of a gorgeous, it's that fall green color that you get a little bit of on your oak leaves and things. And I just think that it turned out pretty, pretty snazzy. Um, <clears throat> all these gold <laughs> cells that came up um, due to my thin gold runway. I got a ton of them. I really love this area right here, this dark it's the black, red, orange. It's probably everything mixed together, but I just really think that is so pretty. And uh, on up into the rest of our composition. I just think it's kind of a cool painting and I had never tried the Wanderlust before. This may not be the first time you see it on my channel, but this was the first one I ever attempted. Um, so, Nate's Art Lab. Yeah, if you haven't joined, <laughs> you so silly. Um, there are really good challenges. Um, people are really friendly. I've been there since the beginning. We've gone through, you know, a couple of growth spurts and, uh, you really should join if you haven't, um, just to get in on the collabs and the conversation, you know? So anyway, there we go. Dried results. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure you've hit that subscribe button, the thumbs up, leave me a comment, tell me what you think, and, uh, I'll see y'all next time.